Man, I have no idea what Simone Biles' mother calls herself doing in this interview that I'm gonna post today. But it's evident she didn't lost her damn mind. Today we're talking about why it's necessary to sometimes cut off dysfunctional family member. Let's talk about it. Shalom, welcome back to another Spirit-filled episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I'm gonna post this short video of Simone Biles' mother doing an interview and I'm gonna react to it once the video is done playing so you can have some context. Roll that bean footage. How do you handle the fact that this is brought up every four years? I'm over it already. You know, I mean, I can't keep dwelling on it. Whenever she's ready, she's ready, and I'm here. You know, I want her to be able to come to me and say, you know, okay, let's have a sit down, because there's some things I want to know. So I just have to have patience. I want to let her know that I love her. I'm very proud of her, you know, but I'm just still waiting, you know. I would like to sit down and talk to you and answer any questions you may have, you know, because I don't know what you've been told or, but, you know, I want you to hear the real deal. I was an addict. I will always be an addict. But there's just a way that you have to learn how to stay away from people, places, and things and change your routine and just change your life. Live your best life. <laughs> you know, if I need to know anything, I'll call my dad. Hey, dad, what's going on with Simone? How's everybody doing? You know, he keeps me posted. So you don't have like a direct number that you can even reach out to her? I do, but I won't. Why not? You know, I'm just, I want her to reach out to me. You know, she's 27 now, she's married. I would like to have been a part of that, but I just, I just have to wait for her. You know, a lot of people, if you don't have a mother that operates like this, then you're not gonna understand it. And I understand this wholeheartedly because when you think about love, love is an action word. Love is not a, a, a feeling, an emotion. Love is an action word. There's people out there that love their children through actions. And, you know, I understand this because I have a, a great relationship with my mother at a distance. Meaning, if my mama don't get too close, man, we'll have a great a relationship. We can converse, and that's about the fullest extent of it. But my love for my mother is shown through action. You know, and on, on my example, in my situation, my mom has a very perverted type of love, a very deceptive type of love, manipulative type of love. And it's backed by a lot of mental illness. And then also beneath that mental illness, there's some demons up under there. So, you know, I don't doubt that Simone Biles does not love her mother, but you have to put distance between you and people that do not bear fruit. Some people bear bad fruit. You don't want their fruit being diseased and fungus. You don't want it uh, corrupting your good fruit. And you have to think, man, you know, shout out to Simone Biles because I, I, I'm, it's so good to see the complete opposite of a sexy red. Ski yeet. It's so good uh, to see uh, a woman that can come on there, be covered, you know, have a husband and working as a and working as a unit and not not setting forth an example of ratchetness in our community. You know, Shakari Richardson, if if you know, there's no telling what kind of woman she would be 
as far as letting go of that ratchet behavior and stuff that she's been caught up if she had a covering. A lot of people don't realize a woman's salvation is tied to her obedience to her husband. So shout out to Simone Biles, 11 gold medals. A lot of people don't think, and I'll tell you a story. As a drill sergeant, man, you know, back in the day, they had removed the pay phones and people came to basic training with cell phones. We would take their cell phones and put them in a locker. And every time, you know, after about the first two weeks when they get their cell phone to be able to make a phone call for about five, 10 minutes, you know, you'd realize that a soldier's whole demeanor would have changed. It's changed because they didn't got on the phone with mama. Mama then told them some bad news. Uh, mama then doggone begged them for some money or your mama then doggone depleted your bank account because you put her on, uh, you know, on your bank account. And this is what I'm telling you. I used to have to tell soldiers, man, if your mama that says she loves you and love is an action word, show me where the love is. These soldiers would be breaking down, uh, struggling, you know, to mess up an opportunity because they want to go home and support mama and her dysfunction. And I'm telling you, I used to tell them, you know, you got an opportunity. A lot of these people, your family members, your mama, your sibling, they not going to never do anything. They're never going to bear any fruit in any realm of life, any capacity, if they don't get right. So I used to, uh, you know, I, I had one guy that, you know, his mama was pulling the wool over his eyes the whole time he was in training. And this joker said, it's in my best interest if I don't let my mama come to my graduation because there's just too much dysfunction. And I think this dude had uh, air assault and airborne all in this contract. So his mind had to be sharp. And, you know, like I said, I don't doubt that Simone Biles does not love her mama, but you don't get to give your child up for adoption. You don't get to give your kid up for foster care and then do an interview talking out the side of your neck, talking about uh, it's her responsibility to reach out to you and you gave up your child. That's the complete opposite of being caring and being nurtured. That's Where is the love? Where is the love outside of this woman's vain feelings? Where's the love? And one thing about it is people are quick to try to tell you how your relationship should be with your, 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 your blood family, but guess what they're not around for? They're not around for that dysfunction. And I tell you like, uh, you know, I've got family members that's more than welcome to come spend time, but my mama is not one that can come because of the, the, the demons that she battles. And, you know, oftentimes, you know, you open the floodgates for demons to enter you through the company you keep. So you gotta understand what kind of, you gotta think her mom does this interview. Simone Biles is getting more attention than ever, you know, uh, and her mom says, you know, and the lady asked in the interview, what do you think about this when this comes around every four years? She said, I'm over it. That lets you know, by their fruit, you shall know them. This is a woman that does not bear fruit and there's plenty of other uh, toxic mothers out there like this toxic mothers like that you know one of the biggest things as a mother if you say you know oftentimes they try to say things to where the devil gives you your inheritance you're gonna be like your daddy and your daddy wasn't shit you're gonna be just like such and such sorry ain't no good you know if i'm a crackhead what makes you think you ain't gonna be a crackhead this is why you had to cut people off the word says, come out from among them and be ye separate. You ain't supposed to be hanging out with these people that's got all these plagues, all of this bad disease fruit. No, you got to remove yourself. And I would tell you, as Simone Biles, I wouldn't engage in conversation with my mother until there is a genuine, uh, sincere, 
apology and accountability. I've been saying for a long time, women deny accountability. Simone Biles is a mama that probably go around telling people on Mother's Day, yeah, I'm a mother, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, hell no, hell no. See, some of these people, the best gift that they can give you is life into this world. And they cannot help you get out of the dysfunction because they bring more dysfunction in your life. And it, 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 it's, it's probably no need for Simone Biles to speak on it until she's ready. Ain't no need in trying to let these people manipulate her hand and to throw her focus off. Ain't no telling what kind of demons her mama is filled with that she wants to pass on to her daughter. A lot of these demons is passed through some of the relationships that we have. And Simone Biles is doing phenomenal. Her mama is not married, don't have a covering. You think she want to see, you think the demons in her want to see her daughter happy and covered, obeying her husband? Hell no. Best thing she could do is cut her mama off until her mama shows uh, the fruits of repentance. Because dysfunctional people will starve and, and suck away your fruit of the spirit if you allow them your joy peace long suffering you know it's it, it's a doggone shame because you know i cut it straight up the middle always come straight up the middle people be you know my mom call me mother's day day after mother's day how come you didn't call me and wish me a happy mother's day first of all i ain't no damn heathen i don't keep these heathen holidays that's for one two what makes you think you're supposed to be getting all of this nonsense that's not rooted in any biblical truth? What makes you think you deserve that? Even if I did keep it, I had to shoot straight. And people will say, man, that's messed up, man. That's, that's, that's wrong, man. That's your mama. You got to understand, uh, Messiah said, who is my brother? Who is my father? Who is my mother? Except those that do the will of the father. There's a good separation letting you know Hey, I'm not fooling with everybody spiritually like that. I know we're tied by blood, but you ain't worth a damn. Sometimes you have to say that uh, in order to ensure you can work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Some of these people will, their main job and the demons that they're filled with is to make sure that you miss out on your salvation. Closer to y'all ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.